All right, so we are out looking for rainbow trout on night crawlers. Just the bobber, two feet down from the bobber with the night crawlers, half the night crawlers dangling and hoping for a big trout. So let's see what happens. All right, so we're gonna go back in time around June and we were going after rainbow trout under a bridge on a lake in Wisconsin. Here's the lake. Now we're going to zoom in to exactly where we were. We were fishing under a bridge next to the dam looking for rainbow trout and we found some. It's, this is about it. We were just using night crawlers and a bobber trying to catch some rainbows. Enjoy the video. All right. We got a nice one finally here. Woo! Okay, netting time. All right, there we got a nice one. Probably in good eater. We're going to probably keep this one for an eater. Look at that. There we go. Nice one. So, first rainbow, first keeper. Probably the only keeper we're going to keep too. So, all right. Let's see if we can get some more. That's a 17-inch rainbow trout. So, yeah, 17 inch rainbow trout, that's our biggest now. Uh, for To beat a personal best, I need 26 and 3 fourths to beat. I don't think that's gonna happen. That's gonna be a hard one to get. But we got, got our first nice one there. Just a little, about 20 minutes or 15 minutes later, we got this little one here that's back in the water and gone didn't want to stick around for too long and let us look at him so as you can see that bobber is floating with the current going toward the dam so my baits are constantly moving very slowly and perfectly along with the current going to the dam and them trout are just in front of the the dam in the front of the bridge here not really feeding that hard but they're here and they're somewhat feeding so let's just keep on seeing what's gonna happen That is, I believe, is a pretty nice storm front coming our way to stop us from fishing. But for now, it's not here. So we're going to keep on going and see what happens here. Very, very quiet lately. No bites. I don't know. So in this short video, we are going for brook trout now. And uh, it's beginning of september or late august i don't remember but somewhere around in there now we're right below a dam and right where that circle is i believe it's like a little deeper hole where most of these trout kind of gather in and that's where i focused on catching these brook trout it was a slow bite but here we go all right this feels way better way better this feels way better Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my God, yes. Oh yes, oh yes. That might be a personal best. Come on, we need this personal best so bad. All right, not as big as I thought. Oh, he's gonna hurt himself. Settle down, my friend. Well, and there's a nicer one measure it and see how big it is here so it's tails uh, so we got 12 and a half 12 and a half nice little eater right there keep a few of these have a meal there's a 12 and a half little eater he's going in the pail for me to eat see if we can get a couple few maybe two more and then the rest will start releasing Beautiful September day. Next month, the trout fishing 
starts closing down a little bit, except for the bigger lakes in Wisconsin, they stay open. All right. Now that ain't my worm. I took my hook out, but you can tell what they're eating. Really beautiful one right there. Probably gonna keep that one because it's hard fishing. It's not that small. All right, I just wanna talk about what I'm using here. Just a tiny little jig head with night crawler. Uh, six pound suffix of ants, fishing line, and this a uh, little pan fish pole. Throwing it out there, jigging it back, and when I get a bite, I kind of drop the bait for a little bit, see if they come and get it. Otherwise, I keep it up in the air to try to get away from snags. Another little brook trout. Now these are my second favorite fish. First is uh, smallmouth bass, this is my second. They're beautiful and they fight like a smallmouth, that's why I like them so much. Wisconsin, a uh, little under, under a lake. Yeah, yeah. All right, well we caught our first tiny little rainbow trout. Really, it's been a while since I've seen a trout. Been catching a bunch of little creek chubs. They're just eating the worms, being more of a pain than anything else. If I was looking for bait, and there you go, had all kinds of bait. There's all kinds of them, little tiny little creek chubs about that big. Perfect for a northern or bass or cat fishing. All right, everybody, just pulled out a brook trout. Just a small one, but we missed a couple bigger ones, I think. I seen one come up after my bait, but, and then he swam away, it was probably a nicer one. Really hard fishing though. We'll see what happens. 